In this video we will install CentOS 764-bit on VMware. You can see my guest's hardware configuration. It has 3 gigabits of memory. 4 CPU cores. 1 gigabit network card. And a CD-ROM where we have our CentOS installation DVD mounted. Now, we will start our guest. It will boot from the DVD. The initial screen will ask you. If you want to install CentOS 7, hit enter to begin installation. One of the first steps it will do is a disk check. You have the option to skip this if you want. This will run for a couple of seconds. If all the system checks are OK, we will get the graphic user interface for our installation configuration. First screen is asking us to choose language. We will choose English. In the second screen we will configure a couple of things. We will set date and time. Choose mountain time. Then we will enable network time synchronization. When trying to turn on network time, we are getting error. This is because we have not configured network yet. Let's do that first. We will give a host name. Then click on the configure button to configure NIC. Network interface card. In the IP version 4 section we will choose manual. Then we will assign a static IP. In our case we will give it 192.168.7.91. Give the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Enter the IP address of gateway which is 192.168.7.1. Don't forget to enter the DNS server. 192.168.7.70 We will change this later to include a public DNS server like 4.2.2.2 We will disable IP version 6 by choosing ignore Then click on done button Then turn on our network interface by flipping the switch Now, we will try to enable the network time Looks like it started correctly now we will take care of disk partitioning. Click on installation destination to open the partition manager. By default the installer will partition the disk as shown. For our training purposes we will delete home partition and add that space to root partition. To delete home partition highlight the home partition. Then click on the minus sign at the bottom. Now, we will change the size of root partition to 96.5 GB which was total of 50 gigabytes plus 46.5 gigabytes we claimed from home partition. We will leave swap as 3072 megabytes. Now click done button. This will pop up a window summarizing the changes. Accept the changes. After this we have to tell the installer what we need to install. Click software selection button to do this. For this training purposes choose server with GUI. Then click done button. Now, that we have all the configurations made, start the install process by clicking begin installation button. While the installer is running we will set up a root password. It warns me my password is weak. Click the down button twice to force the installer to accept my weak password. The installer will run for 10 to 20 minutes. We will fast forward till the end of installation.
Now that the installation is complete, we will reboot the server. You can do this by clicking the reboot button. Let it reboot from the first selection. Give it one or two seconds. It will boot. Before we boot into the graphic user interface, it will ask us to do some initial setup. We will type 1 and hit enter to license menu. Type 2 and hit enter to accept the license agreement. Now type 2 and hit enter to get into user creation menu. Here if you want to create a user you can. Else type C and hit enter. After that type one more C and hit enter. This will take us to graphic user interface. Swipe on the screen upwards to get into the welcome screen. In the welcome screen we will choose English as our language. Then click next button. We will choose our keyboard layout as English US 2. Time we leave as default. Skip the step that asks you to connect to your online accounts. In this screen you create a non-privileged user. I will create a user George and then my password for user George then click next click on start using sent OS Linux now we will log out of user George's profile and log in as root user once logged out of user George, to log into root, click on not listed, type username root, then click next, you will be prompted for root user's password, then click sign in. In the welcome screen we will set our language preference and keyboard layout, skip connecting to online accounts part, then click start using CentOS Linux. To summarize, in this video we learn how to install CentOS 7, 64-bit operating system in a virtual machine. These are the exact steps that you can follow to install it on a physical machine. You can install Red Hat Linux almost the same way. In the next videos we will use this Linux server as prerequisite for other application or configure this as other functionality specific servers, like DNS server, VNC server. Nagios server, database server etc.